Hello, everybody. I'm George Moore for Civic Center TV. We are here in the prettiest little city in Michigan, Sylvan Lake. And when they ask me to MC and host all the festivities for their Memorial Day parade, I was honored. You see the smile on my face? The sun is out. We got a perfect day for a parade. So we're going to show it to you. We're going to bring you all the floats. We're going to bring you all the pomp and circumstance of how they celebrate Memorial Day here in this quaint community. I love being out here. And uh, we're going to have a good time out here today. So join us. We are seeing the Sylvan Lake police vehicles driven by Sergeant Zilk and Officer Jaywars to kick off the parade. They are followed by the Coast Guard Auxiliary Honor Guard and flag organized by Sylvan Lake resident Wes Cottrell. Don and Nancy Premack along with Farouz Ardian. Wes Cottrell is a uh, Army veteran along with Joe Shenevert, a Coast Guard veteran. They're not marching, but they will join us later on at Memorial Park for the ceremonies there. Up next, the 2003 Mercedes CLK 430. It's owned and driven by Sylvan Lake resident Michael Palermo with honored veteran Mike Schwanitz. Let's give them a hand. That's Mike in the passenger side. Mike donated and he maintains all the beautiful Memorial Garden uh, items in the bench at the Sylvan Lake Community Center in honor of his wife. Up next, the 1999 Porsche Boxster, owned and driven by a Sylvan Lake resident, Rick Vanker. Rick's been a Sylvan Lake resident, him and his wife, Carol, for 40 years. They've raised three kids, uh, three wonderful sons here in Sylvan Lake, plus a whole battalion of neighborhood boys and girls always at their house. We have our 1963 Corvette, next, owned by Sylvan Lake resident Mark Wood and his wife, Chris. Miss Statue of Liberty and Uncle Sam on the tricycle. Uncle Sam, longtime Sylvan Lake resident and honored veteran Dick Pfeffer. Miss Liberty, Sylvan Lake resident Elena Petrucci. She's the granddaughter of Dick. Betsy Ross, of course, the... Uh, Betsy Ross was the seamstress and sewer of the first American flag. And Abigail Adams also represented it by Sylvan Lake resident Leanne Pujeric. Abigail Adams, of course, was prolific writer and thinker, wife of the second president of the United States and the mother of our sixth president. So a great contingency coming through right now as this parade here in Silver Lake is in full effect Show them some love, everybody. They were joined by the boys and girls of Sylvan Lake in their bikes and strollers. Many of the bikes and strollers were decorated at home by the children and their parents, and they did a great job. They're directed and assisted by Michelle, Dina, and Ryan Martin. Kathy Jensen, by the way, who painted faces at City Hall uh, about 8 o'clock this morning. This is her second year doing that. The Greater Harvest Church of God float passing through now with Pastor Kevin Crispin and musicians from Greater Harvest Church of God here in Sylvan Lake. The snazzy yellow Mustang, Ford Mustang, owned by Sylvan Lake resident Jerry Arrowwood. What a nice vehicle, driven by Jerry Netchel, with Pastor Christman's grandsons, Gabe and Kelvin, along with Mom Grace Christman in the vehicle as well. Hi, Helen. Thank you. Okay, coming up next, you'll see is Ben's Snow Cones. And marching in the parade are Ben Mirzwa and friends. Ben is a sophomore at Brother Rice High School, and this is a young budding entrepreneur who operates a snow cold stand in his front yard near Silver Lake's Ferndale Beach since he was a little kid. So you gotta admire that. Okay, now the Oakland County Boat Club is coming through next. 
which was established in 1912, so a long tradition for them. The Oakland County Boat Club Commodore is Mike McPhee. Accompanying the Boat Club are representatives of the American Legion Area Post 341. And plenty of, of course, lakes here to take that boat out on and have a good time. Up next, you're seeing the great uh, Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society, their float. Of course, the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society has collected and preserved the history of the Tri-Cities area of Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, and Kegel Harbor since 1974. So, plaques and old photos at key locations throughout the Tri-City areas, prepared by lifetime Sylvan Lake resident Helen Jane Peters. Now coming up next should be the uh, Sylvan Parks and Recreation Committee float. Yep. Members Terry Etter, Patrick Runk, Patty Harrop, Doris Jacobs, Thomas Hubbard, and Greg Peterson. The truck being driven by Brian Etter. Parks and Recreation Committee is the preeminent volunteer organization in this community organizing and presenting community events in the city throughout the year. So we salute them as well. This will be the city hall float. Escorted by Chris Klassen of City Hall. And uh, daughter Terry Cla uh, Taylor Klassen as well. You'll see coming into view next, U.S. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. She's the representative in U.S. Congress of 14th uh, Congressional District of Michigan. And that district includes Sylvan Lake, Pontiac, Kego Harbor, and large portions of Oakland and Wayne counties. We're proud to have Representative Lawrence join our best little parade in the state of Michigan on her first Memorial Day since her election last October. And I have to make a personal note, Brenda's a Facebook friend of mine. I think she's going to come over and say hello. Congressman Lawrence, so good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. And we're getting free swag and candy here. I love that. This is great. And you can see their whole contingency here. <clears throat> great appearance by Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence. I love that. Coming up next will be Jan Hayes, your neighborhood realtor. And you'll see behind their sign, they have a vintage Jaguar driven by honored veteran Gene Palson. Riding with Gene in the vehicle is honored Korean War veteran and lifetime Sylvan Lake resident Ray Dahlgren. Now don't go too far if you're right here because the truck behind them has some goodies, some candy and other giveaways. Now Jan has been a resident of Sylvan Lake for more than 25 years. Also a longtime supporter of civic events in Silver Lake, Jan also provided the U.S. flags that, uh, that line the parade route from City Hall to Memorial Park, and they are, of course, an important part of the best little parade in Michigan. Thank you, Jan. Jan from Mayor. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to say Jan from Mayor. You never know.
And there's the rest of the contingency. <laughs> yeah, get your free candy. <laughs> Salute to our veterans, and that's what it's all about. We do a quick reset here at the Sylvan Lake Parade. I'm George Moore for Civic Center TV. Now you'll be able to see this parade in its entirety later on on our website, civiccentertv.com. We are just so proud to be out here with them. Up next is Silver Lake resident Luke Kassar and the truck pulling a 1956 Chris Craft boat. A very interesting story about this. This boat was originally purchased by Luke's father back in 1956. And they used to know Silver Lake for 26 years before it was sold. In 1988, Luke located and repurchased the boat, restored it, and presented it as a gift to his father on his 88th birthday. That's got to really be special. Now, the boat is still in use today on Silver Lake as a pride and joy of the Kassar family. Riding in the boat are Alexis, Olivia, and Lauren Kassar. This Ford Mustang, owned by Silver Lake resident Jerry Arrowwood, Driven by Kevin Mirzwa and honored veteran Silver Lake resident Pete Peters. As they come through the parade route, now coming up shortly to signify. The end of, of the parade is the West Bloomfield Fire Department truck. As we see J&J &J towing bringing more parade festivities. And there you see the big West Bloomfield Fire Department truck. Those first responders, we what will we do without them? Hello, guys. They're there when you need them. And just as it began, it comes to a close with Silver Lake's finest. As they put a bow on the festivities here out in the prettiest little city in the state of Michigan. Special day here in Sylvan Lake as is all around the country as we commemorate Memorial Day. So we're almost done here then uh, we will take you later on to the Memorial Park for the memorial services there to honor our war veterans. <laughs> 